G'day YouTubers, Michael here, uh, VK3HAU, with uh, another quick uh, repair video, hopefully. Um, I haven't got much battery left on my phone, so um, hopefully I can get this video sort of done before the battery goes flat. What we got here is an Icom uh, IC400 Pro, uh, which is a commercial um, UHF slash CB radio. Uh, it will do commercial uh, frequencies. I think it's 440 or maybe 450 up to 512 megahertz. Um, the issue with this one is there's no audio coming out of the actual speaker. And I'm just wondering if we plug an external speaker into the jack here, uh, whether we'll, we'll get audio out or not. If we do get audio out, then there's possibly a problem with that speaker. This uh, radio is an older version uh, or older style radio now. The, the newer one or the one that superseded that one is the 410 Pro, the IC410 Pro. <laughs> I'm trying to rush this video. Just excuse me for that. Um, this is a new, new, the newer version and it's slightly different but not much. So let's get cracking and see what we can find what's wrong with this, uh, this radio. I've already got a, a, uh, a personality programmed into it. So we'll power this up. So uh, I've got the uh, test set already ready to go. And I won't show you the test set frequency it's programmed into it because this is actually our customer's uh, personal um, uh, commercial frequency and we don't want to be giving away trade secrets. So I'll get the uh, test set to uh, generate a tone. Okay, it's now generating a tone. And we'll just make sure that, oh, we need to plug an aerial into that. Okay. Just set the aerial into the back. And we've got a signal here, but we've got no sound. No sound. Okay. Let's get an external speaker. Plug it into the jack. So it looks like we have a fault with the uh, internal speaker. Internal speaker has uh, probably got a, a crook uh, coil connection or the jack that goes onto the circuit board has come off. Well, let's open it up and find out if we can fix it. Now this is, these screws take the face plate off. Okay. So this is our speaker there. And our cabling goes in into the actual housing here. Let's take this plate off. By all looks of it, that there's nothing wrong with the wiring on that. But it's not to say that there's a problem with the voice coil. Ah, there's our problem. The connectors come away. Oh, there you go. Either someone else has been in here and played with this radio, or it's vibrated loose. Since it's a fairly old radio, um, I'd say 
it's probably had someone in here playing with it. Anyway, let's put it all back together. That should be an easy fix. come off it doesn't no oh, it's not very tight it's it may have vibrated out it's highly possible I guess because it's it's a loose fit it is a loose fit maybe we could put a bit of nail polish yes a bit of nail polish on there the connector to sort of uh, tie it down a bit so it won't come loose again put this back together and test it again That into there, plug the power on. Well, that was a simple fix. Thanks for watching.